Ninety-five-year-old Grady Kimsey is a renowned fine artist. He has a piece in the Smithsonian. His work has been collected by celebrities like Robin Williams, and it graces the walls of private homes, museums, and galleries worldwide. And he still works every day. Do you enjoy the process as much now as you ever did? I do. Maybe more. Kimsey's work has been described as multicultural, mystical, tribal, primitive, surreal, and exotic. His interest in creative expression is diverse and insatiable. Paint, paper, clay, fiber, wood, and found objects of every conceivable type somehow come together to make a statement that is uniquely Kimsey. And that's old piano keys in the back of that was my grandmother's piano. <laughs> People can look at a Grady Kimsey and know that it's yours. And it's not because you repeat yourself and it's not because it's derivative of anybody else. It's because it feels like a Grady Kimsey. Uh, what is that feeling and how do you put it into your art? Well, I don't know, but I'm very ha happy if that happens. That's what I strive for. Uh, and I don't know why that happens either. You're asking me questions that I haven't thought about. I need some time to think about some of these. To see Kimsey's work is to love it. To meet the artist is to want it. I don't know anybody that hasn't gone over to Grady's house that said, oh my gosh, I love his work, I love him, and um, end up, they go, okay, what's available? What can I buy? And it's a, once you have it in your home, there's something about having his work in your home. It just makes you happy, it makes me smile. Kimsey lost his beloved wife not long ago. Family, friends, and fellow artists gave him not just the strength, but also the desire to keep going. There are many people that get to be your age, they lose their spouse, they yeah. lose their desire to continue living. What keeps you going? First, my wife wouldn't want me to sit down and die. Secondly, I wake up with energy to do, I wake up every morning welcoming the day because I have things to do. I don't sit around and mope. That's an understatement. Kimsey doesn't just work on one piece, in one media, at one time. He's a prolific, fine art multitasker. I maybe work on 20 or 30 pieces simultaneously so that one piece doesn't become trite. You know, if I think about it too much, it's really not me. I really enjoy moving from one piece to another. I have in the studio here maybe 35 unfinished pieces that I need to finish. Kimsey is not just an accomplished artist. He spent 26 years as a revered arts professor who mentored and inspired thousands of students to find their creative voice. The very first thing I get through to them is do not try to work like somebody else. If you like Picasso and you want to work like Picasso, you can't. There's only one Picasso. If you work like him, you'll always be second best. Just be yourself. At 95, the need to create is as strong in Grady Kimsey as it ever has been. He's mastered perspective and color theory. He knows the rules. All that's left is to break them. Once you learn the rules, can you break them? Absolutely, that's art. Break, especially composition and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's where I am now, kind of. I'm breaking art a lot. I think. You're a rule breaker. You're a 95 year old rule breaker. That's the time. One of the times. If not now, when? Yeah, if not now, when? You feel like a young boy sometimes? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. That, that was that time and now is this time. I'm appreciating this time. I love, I love my life. I take each day for what it's worth and do everything I can in that day. And I would hope everyone my age thinks like that because I'll never just say I've had it. <laughs>